a quick pit stop along the river. Let Bogdan throw some rocks. Yeah. That's a custom. I can do it for you one more time. Please demo, yeah. please demo. That's what you asked for. That's the big one, green one. This is beautiful, eh? Wow, what a forest, holy crap. That's what you call a forest. Another pit stop along the way, beautiful area again. We're still heading towards Trout Lake, uh, probably another 30 kilometers to, to go today. And then uh, we will start looking for um, a wreck site area somewhere where we can camp for a night. And the lake would be an asset since uh, we are all dusty with all the construction trucks passing through. Yeah, there was a blasting area and uh, they're fixing that uh, road, so there's always something going on on this highway. A lot of, lot of trucks, one after another. The trees here are just spectacular out of this world. Like, uh, there's so much of them and uh, they're so tall and thick. The green colors of those pine trees are just amazing. So we're trying to make up time, but it's impossible because uh, from one place to the other, there's always something to see and as soon as we pick up we find something else along the way so those those forestry trunk roads are just something for the adventure uh, last year we had Bogdan and Harley so he couldn't do it but uh, this year he has a GSA and uh, he does it all and uh, it's awesome This, this current right there, that's from one way, and then from the other way, there's another river falling in in this location, and they join in here. There you go, you can see better probably this way, how they go from one way, and just behind me they're crossing over and floating into one. So two separate currents here.
Welcome to the channel and another video day 5 of our British Columbia adventure episode 8. After few minute break at Duncan Dam we started heading towards Trout Lake following highway 31 northwest. It was gravel road stretch with a lot of gravel and construction tracks to add. Semi trucks passing by creating clouds of dust. We have pulled in a few beautiful locations along the way and the whole gravel road had a quite a nice scenery of rocky mountain and a trout lake on our left side. We have encountered bears along the way as well as I managed to take a quick shot footage of little cub and mama bear was just sitting on a tree just a few seconds up ahead. Then just around town of Trout Lake we got separated. I thought my friends were ahead of me as we lost contact on the comm system but later it turned out they pulled over and I was ahead of them somehow decided to wait uh, where pavement started it turned out they were 15 minutes behind me from there we went together again towards Nakasp British Columbia uh, to look for a new place to stay for a night we had in mind riders retreat campground but once we got there it was way too expensive $60 per person and everyone was packed in there like a sardine in a can that was not for us don't get me wrong, the camping was very well established, tents were provided, toilets, little on-site group kitchen and more. But having all the gear, it would be absolutely no sense to rent a tent. So I found this location, Box Lake, just 15 minutes up ahead on the same road. It was a recreational site on a beautiful lake and the total cost for all of us was $60, including firewood. So I just left the uh, Trout Lake and now we are heading towards uh, Nakasp and I don't know where my buddies are they left me behind
we're approaching Makasp. That's the last stop for a day for a night. We'll be looking for a campsite around here. KBR campground. No, not that one, okay. We'll go look, look for the next one. Apparently it's a rider's campsite. Korea to be where Esso. To pull over Estonia supermarket. Mm-hmm. It's the Drevnyanem. So I want food. So we will be staying at uh, Riders Retreat in the cusp just 450 meters up ahead the boys are already there uh, me and Marius were still coming back here uh, we had to stop and do a bit of grocery shopping and there is a motorcycle that's the riders retreat seriously Tutaj będziesz musiał się zaparkować się i zapiąć. Co tam spadło? Światełko od Harley'a? Jest tutaj recreational site 5,3 km. 5,3 km Box Lake Recreational Site. No ja mam w GPS-ie. I, I to ma 5 star rating. Wpisujesz w Google Recreational Site near me. Boom. End of the day, another change of plans. We're going to recreational site. And it's almost 7.30 now in local time. Let's hope it's gonna be worth it. 12 minutes away from the previous location. The location was not too bad looking, but uh, for motorcycle, but everybody together. And we like to have fire in the evening. Już jest to jeziorko po prawej widać. Mi shower niepotrzebny, jak mam takie jezioro. Ono jest very shallow, to nie powinno być zimne, bo widzę barom. Shower in a lake is good, refreshing. Po, wow, w taki nice forest. Ok, I'll take it. Może misiu przyjdzie. And this pepper spray pod poduszką trzeba mieć, just in case. <laughs> it's a little bit of off-road to enjoy. One bigger or closer to the lake? Uh, number eight is on the lake, but you have to park up top and walk everything down. Yeah, number eight, just follow it around the corner and you'll see it's over on the left hand side. Okay, so which other ones you said? This is one. There's one, this, five. This is, this is one? Five is too small. Five, one is probably too small because it's all four of you. Mm -hmm. Eight is probably the best. Eight is the best? Yeah. Okay. And if you need two spots, you can take seven and eight. Yeah, yeah. Are, yeah they're right by side by side. All right. So. Or you can park everybody on eight and have tents all on nine, or park everybody on nine and tents on eight. <laughs> we won't be that greedy because there's other people. Hey, 
Is it yeah. is it warm? Yes. Especially after hot days. It, sh it looks shallow, so it should be warm, right? It is. Yeah. It awesome. Is. Thank you. I'll come see you and collect these. All right. Satisfied, Papcha? Satisfied? We went to Riders Retreat and uh, and we didn't like it <laughs> for two reasons: price and uh, too crowd, too crowded. Yeah, yeah. The price here is awesome. <laughs> Pogo. So we are right on a lake. Right and, on the lake. And that's a it's called the box lake. Oh. Yes. And there's two loons here. Oh uh, yeah, we heard them already. Yeah. And there's a uh, water lilies. And you should mention Bogdan is the winner because he put it. <laughs> <laughs> Lubicie się? Ale się ale, docinamy, nie? Ale, ale macie tam takie drzwi jakieś. Żenujące może, jest to, że ja was muszę słuchać. Może jeszcze jedno masz, kurwa, schowaną w końcu. Chciałbym, nie chciałbym się już do sklepu, wiem, bo chciałbym. Bez Coca-Coli nie lubię. Rumu pić? A wrażnia. No ale skoro nie lubisz, no to wtedy... Ale, ale z Coca-Colą dobrze, kurwa, idzie. <laughs> 